Welcome to this live tutorial. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the education lead here at Venture. Today, we'll be walking through the deployment process of a path following machine. Now, with Vention's path following machine app, you can program a gantry robot with the simplicity of a cobot. I'm currently in Vention's Experience Center, where I'll be demoing this on the three axis gantry system that we have behind me over here. As for the end of arm tools, you can either use a spindle for milling and drilling, a laser engraver, a material deposition system, and more. And with that, let me show you how intuitive it is to use our software. So we're gonna start off by validating our machine configuration. So this step is normally completed during the deployment process of your machine. And what it does is that it maps your actuators to the correct drive in your machine motion controller. Once the step is complete, we're gonna navigate over to the machine apps tab. We can start the deployment process of our path following application. From here, select path following from your available machine apps. Here, it'll walk you through a four step process to fully deploy your path following application. So the first step will have you set up your machine parameters. The first part in this process will have you mapping your actuators to G-code axes, as well as setting up your workspace dimensions. When setting up your workspace dimensions, it's recommended to use Machine Builder's Digital Twin to make sure you're getting the proper lengths. Once you've mapped your actuators, you should jog them to ensure that they've been properly set up. So the second step will have you uploading your G-code files. In our case, we already have three of them pre-uploaded, but to do this yourself, you can use a USB key or plug in your computer. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be using our spiral G-code pass. Step three will have you assemble your G-code pattern. What this means is you can have multiple G-code paths run within the same pattern. I'll be speeding through this using the spiral path that you saw earlier. So the final step will have you build your path following application itself. To create a unique one, start off by clicking on new instance. From there, select the one you just created. And in this page, you can fill out some additional commands at different points to route your path following application. Once you finish adding your additional machine logic commands, you're ready to operate your machine. Select the one that you previously worked on from the available applications on the left. And apply the previously created pattern. Good practice would be run your system through a trial run before fully deploying it. What this does will have your system run at a reduced speed to ensure that it's operating properly. One thing to note is you can actually see the path being built out on screen as it's running on your machine. With a successful trial run, you can simply press play to run your machine. And that wraps up our path following demo. Thank you for watching, and for more tutorials, you can refer to our resource center.